Oh, there's a dead horse. Hey, mister, can you help me? Nope, I'm busy, I'm sorry. <laughs> busy showing off my controller profile. Cowboy Simulator 2. So, all right, right off the bat, we we got gyro steering, and then I can just tap, tap left pad, and that is A for hold gallop. We also have what's wrong? What's wrong, girl? What is going on? There's something here. I can't put Roach in this kind of danger. Switch back to my gyro steer. Wow. So, alright, you also have right pad clicks. Left is your camera. Up is whistle or shoot in the air. Right will switch your shoulder. And down is Eagle Eye. Been my style lately. I went all gamepad with this, but I feel like it's very responsive. But what you will need to do, go into settings, controls, controller. What you want to do is in third person, max out, look, aim, and acceleration. No dead zone. Same for first person. Max out, look, aim, aim acceleration, no dead zone. And just to make fishing easier, I set hold to reel on, so that way you just hold X. I mean, you could make a modifier for, uh, you know, right pad spinning, but I, I tried that. I just, it's a silly gimmick. I don't even like that control method, so I set it to on. If you feel like it's still, I mean, like I feel like, I'm looking around pretty fast. If you feel like that is still not sensitive enough for you, since we maxed it out in-game, for gyro and right pad, you could crank up this output value even more and play around with the curve. But I feel like this is, I mean, this is good for me. So, okay. Back into it. So left trigger is aim. A full pull regular press changes your view. So if you start it out in third person, just click once, go in. A long press, go down sights. So you can easily get in there better. Right trigger does not have any full pull active actions on it. And that's because I've kept both of the triggers as full analog, which you need for, uh, what's the, yeah, when you're holstered so you can do the draw, fill that up. So I kept that as the analog trigger. Or no, I'm sorry, I got confused. Actually, there is a full pull. The full pull is an additional right trigger, so you don't have to let go and tap. Yeah, that's what I did. So let's uh, put it back with some flourish. Yeah, so I fill up the gauge wherever I want, and then just full pull. I kept dead eye as right, right pad central click. Trying to go over what else I changed here. Um, left pad is analog movement. And at the outer edge is holding A, so you just sprint. And then click goes to a sprinting action layer, which is turbo. But all the face buttons also have a double press turbo which helps for QTEs, but you could use that for running too, like I could double tap. Double tap and just hold it and then I'll feel the haptics going. 
And like I was saying, though, I mean, that works for all the face buttons. Left stick is also just the standard D-pad. Left stick click is a shortcut to the map. I won't be able to properly show it right now, but I do have a fist fighting action layer, which actually it feels pretty cool and works pretty well. Hold both grips. You'll know you're in it because gyro is on with higher haptics. But in this layer, so this is like I'm holding up my fists, holding the grips, I have punch and block on the triggers, and you'll feel haptics on that. X and, uh, or B and X. Full pull is Y. Now you got a So really, the only thing changed on here are the triggers. Full pull on the right trigger is turbo punching. Soft trigger, punch, block, and grapple. Yeah, and again, that's like holding up your fists. And it... <laughs> I dig that. It feels cool. So, okay. What else do I specifically need to cover? Um, some horse stuff. So like I mentioned in the little T's, I would, I can click or hold. It's this left grip. Left pad touch gives me the gyro. There's a giant inner circle, which also will still let you steer if you want, but the idea is like you keep it in the middle and that's A, so you can just tap. Tap and then hold it and you can steer. But wait a minute, what if you want to aim with the gyro too? Well, just go into... Let's get... Yeah. Left trigger. Left trigger brings back the gyro aim. I'm just not paying attention to where I'm going, because I'm showing stuff. And then back to gyro steer. You know, and you still have access to everything else, and then when you get off... you Well, I mean, you could either click left grip to toggle it, but if you press Y, then you're back. Okay, also, if you double tap right pad, let's get off the horse and remove that horse action layer. So selecting items, hold left bumper, and then the right pad is modified to joystick move to make that all easier. So yeah, I mean, I know this one took a, took a while, and I actually kept going back and forth, like, I was going to go all gamepad, then I was going to go all mouse and keyboard, then I was going to do mixed input. It just... The game is built thinking of controllers, so I'm not going to fight it. And when you mix inputs, all sorts of little frustrating quirks start to pop up. I didn't want to fight it, and I really wanted to keep all the controller prompts. Plus, it's kind of been my thing lately, like I keep pushing mouse joystick. It is absolutely an option, especially in these bigger budget AAA games that give you a lot of in-game controller settings. Um, oh, just one other quick little thing. For cover, you can also click left and right on the left pad. Pretty sure that's everything in here. Oh, nope, I did forget one little thing. Instead of, this is sort of something new that I've been fiddling around with a little bit. Instead of that click to go sprinting, you can also double tap. Yeah, that's kind of, it's something that I'm starting to sprinkle into some of the newer configs. I, I, I kind of like it. Because I always end up using that double tap on the right pad. Come on. I like to hop on. Sorry, switch back to my horse. Hold the gallop. And really, this was, um... This whole horse layer, part of it was... Stuff like this was really why I did that, so you can just hold A. And there's a pretty generous inner dead zone to that left pad. So yeah, that, that's it. I will upload this, and you can find it in the community configs. Um, I have the Steam version of the game, so if you don't have the Steam version, one little trick 
is just to rename your shortcut to the Steam ID of the game, and that's always shown up. That's that's always uh, visible on the store page for any game. That's also something that I'm going to try to be mentioning, you know, in every config vid where the game is available on multiple platforms, multiple launchers, services. But yeah, if you just change your shortcut, you should be able to find the profile and import it. Darn tootin'. So, all right, that's it. I will see you around.